Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta and today I will be playing with my uh, Kaleidos makeup palettes. I will be doing a palette bingo with these three palettes. It is the uh, Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green, the Futurism 4 The R Neon and the Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette. Uh, so the way I will be doing it is I will be using a number generator on Google, I think. And then I will just add six numbers because there are six shades in each palette. And then I will obviously be going from this direction, which is more natural because it is uh, where the mirror side is, from left to right. So I will be starting with this palette. This is the first one. So it's the sci-fi green palette. And I will just be choosing a random number. I have it right here. So we got the number 5 and shade number 5, that is going to be this dark green matte. It's one of my favorites, or <laughs> honestly all of these shades are my favorite. They're so beautiful, but I will be swatching it. And I will be doing uh, two shades from each palette so that I will end up with six shades for my look. So that's it right here. And if you are wondering about the name, it's the shade E.T. That's the name of this one. And for the second shade from the Sci-Fi Green palette, we got shade number four, <laughs> which is the other matte green. So they are quite similar. That's the only thing I would have maybe changed with this palette, but this is also a gorgeous matte green. So I will just also swatch this one. At least these two will play very nicely together. <laughs> so, yeah. so now I'm going into the The Arneon palette, which is such a bright colored palette. I will be generating two numbers from this one as well. The first shade will be Hologram and the last one will be Glitch. So let's just see what we're gonna get. Shade number five. Shade number five is going to be the yellow shade here, which is called Level Up. At least this is going to be playing very nicely with the green shades. As you can see, it's super pigmented, so I'm honestly not gonna get mad for any of the shades that I'm going to get because I love all of the shades in these palettes. As for the Second shade in the VR Neon palette. We got five again, so we generate another number. Okay, this is weird. And four, we only get the same numbers. Well, at least that is going to be the orange shade here. The orange is also very, very pigmented and beautiful. Oh. And now we have only the Electro Turquoise palette left and it has a lot of beautiful shades. I'm really hoping that we will get some of the shimmers now because I don't like to do completely matte looks but at least it's better than to get completely or looks just out of shimmers. So I'm just going to pick another number. So the last one was shade 4. Now we got shade 2. The second shade in this palette is the dark blue called Digital. And now we have the last shade. Shade number 6. Okay, so at least we got one shimmer and it's the shimmer shade that's called Shockwave over here. So I guess that's a good one because that's basically gonna go to all of the shades almost that exist in the world because it's like a white to light gold shimmer so here we're going to have the entire color story that we're using today and i'm probably going to need some time to think about what i will do because 
I don't know, the blue just <laughs> does not really fit into all of these. But I'm quite sure we're gonna be able to figure out something really cool with these colors together. So I will just think a little bit about it, drink up my coffee and I will be back to start off the look. I am struggling a little bit to decide because I have so many ideas in my head. But I think I will just start by putting these two in my crease, more towards my inner corner. And then I will do this one on the outer corner, uh, which is Digiteal. Um, and then just try to blend it out. I don't know if I will use the shade level up to blend out the shades ET and Smog or not. Um, and then I think I want to make a cut crease, so I will probably use my Makeup Revolution cut crease canvas and do this one towards the outer corner of my lid and the shade level up more towards my inner corner and then just top them off with this shade because I think this is a beautiful topper shade. So I, that's the plan for now and I don't know what I'm going to do for my lower lash line and I might just change my mind but I will of course show you what kind of shades I use and how I use them. This is how it's looking so far and I could have just left it like this but obviously I want to use the shimmer shade so I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Base Booster as I usually do. I'm just applying a little bit on this uh, flat brush and um, then I'll be applying the shade Shockwave on the top. And I'm trying to pat the glue down so I don't move the matte shades that I put underneath. I think that looks so pretty, but I think I want to do a liner just because it looks a little bit weird right here unless I like drag the orange and the shimmer way here, but I think I will just do a liner instead. I just finished up my face makeup using my Flexitarian highlighter by Colourpop and topped it off with Luxie Beauty in the shade Halo. 
that's here for my cheek and now I'm just applying some of the shade Digital for my lower lash line and I think I want to try to blend it a bit into the shade Boss I think it's called, the orange shade. So I'm just applying those two and then I will apply the shade Shockwave for my inner corner highlight. Now I will just do the exact same on my other eye and I will find a lipstick and then I'll be back to show you the look. That is my finished look with the three Kaleidos makeup palettes. I really love how it turned out. I sort of feel like it's a grungy tropical look almost and I feel like I got to use all of the different shades so that you can like, totally see all of them because uh, you can see the yellow and the orange shade underneath the shade Shockwave on my lid and you can see both of the greens here, you can see the teal shade and then underneath here I have both the Digital and uh, the orange shade, so I just really love how it turned out. For my lips I ended up using my LA Girl lip liner in the shade Spice and my ultra glossy lip in the shade Dumpling from Colourpop. I have recently just bought several of the Colourpop ultra glossy lips just because I bought one during the sale and I just ended up loving it so much so I needed more and then I managed to get several more from the sale so I'm so happy about that. I guess that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Please comment down below if you would have done it differently with these shades. And if you like this video and want to see more of my content, then please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye!